Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike. I am the Bowtie RN. I know I've been gone for a couple weeks. I actually had an ER visit myself, and then work has just been a little bit nutso, so I wasn't able to get on and do a video, but I'm back. It's a great week. I've actually got some new equipment, so we'll see what we're going to do today. I'm actually, um, not too long ago, I had sent a razor. Actually, I'd sent the Gibbs 15 and the Gibbs 16 out to Greenland to go um, over to Sig Solo for him to try out. And he actually, if you um, want to like see his review of the razors, I'll cl click a link to his channel below. But when Sig sent it back, he actually sent me back a uh, razor. He sent me the Yachi Sentinel. So if you look at it, kind of looks like that. Um, from what I hear and what I see on the message boards, it says Yachi there, right there, but it's kind of hard to see. From what I see on the message boards, it looks like it's a uh, competitor or really close to the Wolfman WR2. Um, that's outside my budget range, so I can't directly compare it, but we'll see how it does today. Um, I did already load it up with a second-use Gillette Platinum. If you look at the top cap, it's actually only got the center threaded stem, and the four corners, if you look there, um, have a little notch or a little peg that holds the side of the blade. And the base plate is smooth. Um, it has a straight safety bar. So I'm go ahead and put that on there. This is the, uh, the polished stainless steel. I like to go ahead and use a, uh, a washer. So I got a little washer in there, the M5 washer, in case you're looking for those. They're um, nylon. I think Amazon has them like a hundred of them for seven bucks. Not a big deal. Um, I do have that on a sterling handle. I don't remember which handle this is, but a nice stainless steel handle. Have not used this razor yet. I. We'll put the uh, measurements down in the comments. I think it was a 1.5 millimeter blade gap and the, uh, the blade is slightly positive reveal. Um, it looks like it's a little bit, just slightly positive. I do tend towards the more aggressive razors, so I'm guessing this one's gonna be right up my alley. As far as soaps go, I do have the Shave It Shave Co. Blue, the, I'm not focusing very well today, but that would be the, the Blood Orange. Um, I've used it a couple times. This is the organic base. Absolutely wonderful. It's out uh, of kale and clay and oatmeal, but it works really, really well for me. And I have that already whipped up. I do have a nice lather going there. And this is my new Rodak bowl. Um, I'll go ahead and clean some of the lather down from the side. But if you look at the edge right here, there's a slight lip. So when you're whipping up your lather, it doesn't kind of creep up out of the bowl. This is just a tiny, tiny bit of scoop lather. Put it in there, got my brush wet, and this is um, a brush that my wife got me for, I don't remember what if it was, I think it was for anniversary, yeah, it was for anniversary. Um, just a inexpensive Amazon brush, synthetic brush, but it works really, really well. All right, if you look at the lather, the soap is absolutely crazy. Really nice there. All right, I'm not gonna, bother with the pre-shave today. I'm going to go ahead and get it a little bit damp first. And in case you're curious, I'm actually not using straight water. I'm using the um, the Thayer's Witch Hazel with the, uh, the rose petal. Kind of nice. Um, it drowns out as, so as soon as you put the soap on your face. The scent goes away but I have had decent results with it. Okay, didn't bother taking my glasses off, and of course, I already got soap on the glasses. It's what I do, right? You've seen my videos before when I leave my glasses on. More times than not, I end up with soap on them. A little bit of scrub in. Primarily bowl lather, but go ahead and do a little bit on the face as well. So I'm working about um, two and a half, three days worth of growth. So if you saw it before I started, it's, it's pretty thick for me. But looking at this razor, I don't think it's gonna have a hard time at all going through that. See if I can get off my glasses there. All right, like I said, it's the Yachi Sentinel with a second use Gillette Platinum Blade. Go ahead and using a uh, cold water shave today, so get that razor wet real quick in the cold water. 
I do like to do my sideburns in that, in the front mirror. Wow, for as much of a blade gap as that has, that's actually really, really smooth. Almost nothing left. Probably gonna be another one of those two pass shaves. You can hear it's doing a lot of work. Nice feedback. I do like I do like that positive feedback from razors. A lot of whiskers coming off. Um, I'm not going to bother showing you that. Some people like it, some people don't. First impressions, though. I'm really not really not feeling the blade on this one. But if I listen to it, a lot of feedback. And I really do, like I said before, I really like the feedback. It tells me that I got a good angle. That's removing those whiskers really well. Um, pretty, pretty shallow head on this one. Um, if I compare it to, let's see, that's, if I compare it to like my 316, um, very similar, a little bit tall, a little bit taller, but not bad. Actually, I lied. That's not my 316. That's my Razor Rock Game Changer, the 0.84. It's what happens when you actually don't pay attention to what you're doing. Nice low profile head gets actually up under the nose really easy. I don't feel anything left over. So definitely thank you to Sig for sending me this. First impressions, absolutely love this razor. If it's anything like the Wolfman, then I'd probably love to have that one too, but that Wolfman's just a little bit outside my price range. All right, get that damp again. See if I can keep the soap off the glasses this time. And once I get the soap on, I want to go ahead and feel the feel how well that did. Soap being on makes it nice and slick. And this, the Shave It Shave Co. Really, really slick soap. Lots of protection. I don't feel anything there. A little bit up underneath, but I always have little problems here. I don't feel anything on the sides. A little bit there. But yeah, this this razor definitely right up my alley. Doesn't feel aggressive. But actually does a really good job. Actually, it kind of feels a lot like my um the Gibbs 16. Gibbs 16 is on with the, the plus minus plate. Same plate, one side has a little bit more of a gap than the other. And I think I've, I reviewed that one oh, a couple months ago. It's on my channel, you can search for it. All right, as well as that did on the first pass, again, this is just gonna be a two pass shave. I really so, see no reason to go more than two passes. So two passes after almost three days worth of growth, really good for me.
Sorry, around the Adam's apple, I have always have a little bit of an issue. I've got a pretty pronounced Adam's apple, so I have to kind of stretch the chin out and get the top half and then swallow halfway or swallow and then hold it and get the bottom half, but it works well. Nothing. There's a little bit. Looks like this razor pretty much got everything on that first pass. After the first pass, I really, I realistically, I could have gone right to work. I don't want to go to work on a Sunday, but I was there yesterday. Why not? Yeah, work's been a little bit nuts lately, demanding a little bit more of my time. It kind of stinks because I haven't been able to spend much time with my family, but my wife and son are super supportive. They understand. I'm in a new role, so I really have to kind of buckle down and get things done and straightened out. All right, really good shape. So I've been thinking about, I really want to try straight razor shaving. Being lazy right now and cheap, or really trying to be fiscally conscious. So buying a straight razor isn't exactly in my budget right now. I've entered a couple drawings to try and get one. And if I do, I'll be using it soon. All right, that was actually a fairly quick shave for me. Gotta say, um, copy, clone, whatever you wanna call it, this is a great razor. Stainless steel, I actually don't know much how much it costs. The blade tabs are completely concealed, so nothing to worry about scratching there. Slightly positive reveal, um, a fairly decent blade gap, but really good quality. Super shiny, super smooth. It's the uh, the polished stainless steel version, but it really did a good job. Rinse off real quick. And again, this bowl, um, Eric actually gave me my first um, one of the, one of his first series of the shave bowls. Um, that would be the, the slightly marbled with the black interior and the interior on this one, if you can see is, um, fairly aggressive, probably mid, mid aggressive to a little bit high aggressive as far as helping you build a lather. This one, um, just gentle swirl in it. I believe he called this the fruity pebbles. It kind of looks like a, a bowl of fruity pebbles. If you had those when you were a kid, I know I, I don't think I actually had them. It really wasn't, I didn't like that kind. They're a little too sweet for me, but it does kind of have that reminiscence of the Fruity Pebbles. But that little ledge on there, I was asking him if he thought it would work, if he could build a little bit of a ledge to kind of keep that lather from going up. So he went ahead and tried it out on a couple couple different mop, couple different um, sets of clay. He did this type, and then I think there's like a one with like a greenish dots on it. I don't remember what he called that one, but... Really good bowls. Um, I'll go ahead and put a link to his page down below if he still has some. Um, he just rolled them out like a week or so ago. But absolutely great shave for me this week. Thank you again to Sig for sending me that, that razor head. Um, really, really wonderful as far as the shave goes. Uh, sorry I haven't been out on the page for, or, uh, sorry, videos for a little while, but life kind of got in the way. So any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. Other than that, uh, have a good week, great week, and great shaves.